Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video, the series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series, well, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video, I'll be covering my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for Palace Skateboards' Winter 2023 collection. Ah, uh, well, it's that time, guys. <laughs> I've been through the other two videos that I've been doing today. We've got to get to the big heavy hitting thing, which is the lookbook for Palace's new season, the winter 2023 season. So, yeah, it's um, it's it's exciting. I don't know what we're in store for. I've seen like one or two images and my mates keep sending me photos of like pieces from the lookbook and I'm like, stop, stop, bro. I, I, I don't want to spoil it. I want to save it for the video. <laughs> so I've, I've been trying to hold off as best as I can, but people keep sending me stuff. So I've, you know, turned off the phone, not looking at it. We're just going to look at the lookbook today. Um, we'll cover the, we'll cover a couple of things actually. We'll cover the drop details for week one. We'll cover the lookbook, obviously. And we'll cover my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces, the looks, everything to do with it. How we're going to do that is just by using the lookbook page that Palace has on their online store. I will head on over there now and we'll start covering the release details for week one. So here we are at the page that Palace has for their lookbook. We'll quickly cover the week one release details, which is just getting longer and longer and longer with more stores that they have releasing. <laughs> so for week one of the winter 23 season, which I will be covering in a drop list video, I will try and do that for you guys. I do have a very busy weekend this weekend moving forward but I'm gonna try and get that video out for you. That is the biggest week of the season as well. Stay tuned for the drop list video. Week one is launching on Friday, September 29th, UK in-store and online, 11 a.m. British Standard Time. The EU is getting at 12 p.m. Central European Standard Time. The US gets it online, 11 a.m. EDT time or 8 a.m. I'm assuming Pacific Daylight Time. I don't know what PDT stands for, but I'm assuming it's for the, the West Coast Eastern Daylight Time. I don't know. You guys figure it out. You got it. Oh, well, yeah, if New York is EDT, then that's got to be Eastern. LA is PDT, so it's got to be Western. Yeah, okay. That all checks out there. It is releasing in store as well in those locations. Uh, launching Saturday, September 30th, so the day later, as some of the regions in the world get it at different dates. Japan is getting it in store and online, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time. And China, they're not really mentioning it, but... China gets it on the WeChat store, 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time. So there you go. Uh, if you guys have any further questions on when and where it's dropping for your regions, uh, drop those questions in the comment section below or hit me up on Instagram, whatever's easier for you, and I'll try and help you out the best I can there. But now that we've covered all the release details for the first week of the winter season, we've got to cover what we're actually going to be getting. Let's check out this lookbook and see what kind of pieces we're going to be getting for the winter season. To start it off with, we've got a lot of all over print stuff. We've got Lucian rocking this puffer jacket with this all over print on it. I think it's by an artist. I remember seeing the video where they were interviewing her, showing her the pieces that they're releasing in the winter season. So it's something like that. There's a lot going on here. I don't particularly, you know, feel amazed by it. I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool, but I'm not a big puffer jacket guy. All over print stuff, it's got to be on silhouettes that I like, so it's not hitting any of the boxes for me with that one. We've got an all over print uh, beanie with some ears on it as well. Fleece beanie with an all over print graphic on it. Both of those pieces are kind of a miss for me. Next, we've got a sweatshirt showcase to us. I like the panels on this sweatshirt. Reminds me very much of one of the uh, shell jackets that we got in the previous season. Um, I'd, I'd be interested to see what kind of color combinations it comes in. We've got an all over print pair of denim down here. It looks like a studded belt as well, a palace studded belt we can see there. 
that's going to be crazy. We've got the matching fleece jacket to the beanie we saw in the first image. Um, we've got some very, very furry ear flap caps here. I'm not a huge fan of caps with extra added bits to it. It doesn't really hit for me. Looks like we've got some plaid, uh, potentially double knees, or maybe just some plaid denim. Kind of hard to make that call here, but okay. Okay. We've got a uh, Polatech Alice jacket coming in a blue. I love the paneling on this. I like the use of the like contrasting, uh, I don't even know what to call them, like the zip handles, whatever they're te technically called. Um, it's nice. Uh, I'd like to see what other colors this kind of comes in. We've got a all over print uh, Gore-Tex jacket. I really like the design that they've chosen for this jacket and the matching pants. That looks really cool. I really like that. I personally would never wear it, but if I saw someone wearing the full ensemble, I'd be like, wow, that's cool. That is cool. Okay, we've got a Sherling, I was gonna say leather. Leather's probably the appropriate material. Jacket, uh, palace embossed branding on the back of it. Very, very furry. A very interesting silhouette to choose for a jacket like this. Normally they're very different uh, in, silhouette, in silhouette choices, but yeah, I'd love to see how the collar kind of looks when it's undone, but I'm, I'm a fan of it. I like this type of jacket. It's cool to see Palace do it, but it is going to be dumb expensive. Very, very expensive. I can already, yeah, it's just going to be crazy. We've got a beanie featuring up here, a Polartec one with what looks like some kind of, I don't know, button or something on the side, which makes me feel like there's more to this beanie that's, than what's being showcased here. But the main thing I'm keen on is the jacket but I'd never be able to afford it. It's That's going to be so pricey. We've got another Gore-Tex. I assume Gore-Tex? Maybe. Maybe not Gore-Tex. We'll have to see. But at least another weathered jacket here with a woodland kind of camo all over it. Uh, looks like there's a matching vest version or the, sl uh, the sh sleeves like zip off. I think I'm going to place on that it's two different pieces but I could be wrong there, but it does look like two different pieces. We've got a nice little uh, like V-neck sweater underneath it. I actually quite like the colors on this one and the design on that one. I feel like you could rock that over the top of like a nice Oxford shirt and have a nice little like formal outfit to go there. It, if it's a vest, that could still apply. I definitely know my mates are, are fans of like knit vests and stuff. So it could be a really nice piece this season. It's just kind of hard to see the piece under like a huge jacket like this. Looks like we've got a very faux fur beanie, probably to match the jacket we just saw before. And what looks to be a very, very weathered uh, hoodie or hooded jacket underneath that as well. Again, kind of hard to make assumptions with all these different pieces going on on what is what and what where. So we'll keep pressing on. Nothing here really sparking my interest though, except for maybe the V-neck knit sweater. We'd have to see if it's a full knit sweater or if it's gonna be a vest. I feel like it's probably gonna be a vest. We've got that all over design featuring again, but on this piece here, I really like this. I think this looks really nice. Not too fond of like the balaclava cause like it's, it's Australia, man. Like it's not gonna get cold enough to wear something like this or even this realistically, <laughs> but it looks sick. It looks fantastic having it all match up together though. It looks awesome. We've got on the left hand side here, a very light blue palace jacket cap combo. I think it's a bit too much to have like the hooded jacket with the cap, com like it, it, it's too much, man. I would have much preferred individual pieces. It, uh, to me, it just looks a bit weird having it as all as one piece, but maybe you're a big fan of that. I definitely think this is the better out of the two pieces showcased here. I think this is just a really awesome look, really awesome photo as well. We've got what looks to be a quarter zip, nice palace logo on there. Hopefully that comes in some nice colors. We've got another Gore-Tex jacket right here, solid blue color, very nice uh, blue coloring there. I like that they've hidden the zipper detailing as well. It makes it look very, I don't know, very minimalistic in design by hiding all the zippers and extra things like that. It's just very simple, but I like it. It's a nice color, everything like that. Oh, we've got like a quilted bomber jacket. That I like. I like the color, I like the branding on it. I like the exterior quilt design. 
that's cool. I hope it comes in some very nice colors on the same kind of like color spectrum as this green, like that like earthy tone. That would be really nice. If this comes in like a brown or a burgundy, that's a very nice piece right there. Then we've kind of got like a goofy palace uh, winter jersey. I think the jersey in the autumn 23 season that I highlighted in my top five video is a lot better than this one, but each to their own, each to their own. We've got a soccer jersey being showcased here. Um, I, you really have to sell me on soccer jerseys. This one, I'm not too sold on it. We've got that artist again featuring in an all over print shirt. I remember seeing that in the video. Still not selling it to me though. Um, we've got a graphic shirt underneath, cap over here. I like the beanie over here that matches the jacket that we saw before. Okay, we got like a triferg embossed uh, like sweater here. It's nice, not too bad. Nice little palace jacket here. Nice stonewashed denim. Nice hat there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a knit sweater that just says pal on it. I'm assuming the back of it says ace on the back of it. Uh, I, I would have liked, honestly, just that font style with palace done like diagonally across the chest. I think that would have looked a lot nicer, but um, we'll have to see how that one kind of shapes up. We've got a very workwear looking hooded jacket over here on this side here. And we've got a rugby polo underneath. I like the embossed logo on it, how it's done a little bit darker than the actual piece itself. I think those pieces individually are nice. Kind of weird that they've like worn them together in this outfit though. Not really selling it to me by having it that way. We've got, okay, a hooded jacket. I like the way that it zips down like that. The palace branding along the sides there. I think that's a cool way of handling it because then if you have it zipped down and taken down, you won't see the palace logo on it, which I think is a cool way of approaching it. Um, I like it's very like bomber jacket style with the button closures and the um, the way that it kind of sits just past the waist there. Yeah, it's nice. We've got, I mean, it looks like a knit soccer jersey in a way. And the way that it's kind of worn makes me feel like it is very like soccer jersey inspired with the like palace gloves and the, yeah, I, not for me on that one. But a very nice crew neck over here. I do like this crew neck sweater. That's a really nice sweater. So they get some props for that for sure. We've got another, well, a vest being showcased here, a uh, plaid shirt being showcased here. Um, it's okay. It's, it's a very interesting look. The fleece jacket over here or the fleece hoodie is insane. Really like that diagonal palace logo here. This is the logo that I wanted on the knit sweater. I don't know why it was split apart. This is exactly what I wanted, but just on the knit sweater. Why did we have to go with like this nice design on the fleece hoodie, but not on the knit sweater? I'm going to cycle back to that. Not happy with that one. Oh, okay. And last but not least, we've got another plaid uh, palace shirt being showcased here, an overshirt, if you will. Maybe it's insulated, so it could be worn more like a jacket. I don't know. We've got a like lightning palace shirt underneath. Uh, and then we've got a cardigan, a animal print, which it takes a lot to sell me on animal print. I, I don't think I have any animal print in my wardrobe. So, you know, you really got to sell me on that. If it comes in other colors, maybe, but I'm on the fence. I'm going to need some persuading on that, uh, on that cardigan there. I don't know. I'm going to sit on a maybe at the moment. I'm a little unsure. Maybe throughout the season, I'll feel a little bit more warmer to it, but I don't know. We can see a textured, maybe long sleeve or crew neck sweater underneath it. Um, it just kind of cuts off, so I can't see the rest of it, but a nice little textured piece. Nothing wrong with getting some textured basic pieces. They always work quite well in the wardrobe, but I like that they ended off with the cardigan. That's a good move. That's a good move. But that is it. That is image 15 out of 15 of the winter 23 season. How do I feel about it? Unfortunately, there isn't anything here that is a must have for me. I'm not going to be scrambling to pick up any of the pieces showcased in this lookbook. Were there a lot of really cool pieces showcased in this lookbook? I can't deny that. Absolutely there were. There were some awesome pieces showcased here. Um, some pieces that I think we could have been improved on. 
gonna move past it so I don't get stuck on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I think there's uh, there's something here for everyone. I think that maybe with some time I could warm up to some of the pieces, but uh, nothing here that I absolutely need straight away. But I definitely, I, I feel like this is a winter season. All these jackets, all these fleece pieces, all these shirling pieces. It's making me feel like it's winter. Even though I look outside and it's like 20 degrees um, right now. It is what it is, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I, it's definitely sold me that it is a winter season. There are some nice pieces in here. Not much else that I can really complain or talk about, guys. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Winter 23 season. Maybe you really like some of the pieces showcased here in the lookbook. Maybe there's some like absolute must-haves for you. Maybe you feel the same way where you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's cool, but nothing that I absolutely need to have here. I'd love to hear any takes that you have on it down in that comment section below. And that is the lookbook covered, guys. Uh, we covered the week one release details. We covered that it's dropping on the 29th or 30th of September, depending on your region. Uh, we covered all the looks in the lookbook and my thoughts on the individual pieces as we went through. Um, I still feel the way that I felt when I just talked about it like a minute or two ago. It's, it's There's nothing here that I'm, I absolutely have to have maybe there will be if i look at like the range or something like that like the whole season i might feel differently or there might be a collaboration this season that i definitely have to have we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see how it all kind of plays out here but um i'd love to hear your thoughts on the on the lookbook are you going for anything when it drops in week one are you keen for the drop list video let me know anything that you have to say regarding the palace winter 23 collection down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering all these upcoming palace releases, palace collections, all that good stuff, you know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna ask you for. I'm gonna ask you for the three indicators I will always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed to the channel, Tell a couple mates, tell a couple of the lads, hopefully before the end of September, we can hit the milestone of 3,715 subscribers. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone. But that is everything I got to say about the lookbook. Otherwise I'll just drag on forever and I'll, I'll, I'll nitpick about little details and stuff like that. I don't think that's to the benefit of anyone. So yeah, it's, it's a fine winter lookbook. It didn't blow me away. There's no pieces that I absolutely have to have, but I'm keen to cover the weekly drops for you guys and see what kind of pieces release throughout the season, regardless anyway. It's just a lot of fun to talk about. So yeah, that's everything I really have to say about it, guys. Stay tuned for the drop list video for week one. And until the next Palace Skateboards video, until the next drop list video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, I'll catch you later.